This year's theme is diversity and inclusion, and really it is a big 15 year celebration of the overall goal of telling the story of the African diaspora through art. And I am so pleased to be joined by the founder here, Mr. Dion Cluck, the founder of the Harlem Fine Art Show, and Jahan Brady. She is a fabulous, abstract, and surreal artist. Welcome to the both of you. Thank you so much. And congratulations to you, Dion. 15, 15 years. years. This is a big deal. Yes, it's been a long journey, yes. and, and we're so excited. We're back in New York yeah. after a two-year hiatus mm -hmm. because of the pandemic, bringing that cultural nutrition, that mm -hmm. impact for all of the artists, and really just a great, great three-day opportunity to come to the Glass House, yes. 660 12th Avenue, premier venue, premier artist, uh, cultural experience. Mm -hmm. Cultural nutrition through art. Why is art such a powerful and impactful medium to tell this story of the African diaspora? Well, it, it feeds your mind, mm -hmm. your body, and your soul. It makes mm -hmm. you smile. It makes you cry sometimes. And more than anything else, it really tells an unfiltered story, an unfiltered story about the African diasporic artists mm -hmm. and what their visions are. And I'm, I'm fortunate enough to be able to work with so many visionary artists throughout the United States, and we got some great ones here. Yes. We have um, the Soweto Gallery for the first time here in the United States showcasing their works. We have um, a group out of California, Band of Vice, mm -hmm. first time in New York at the Harlem Fine Art Show. And then we got some standard um, galleries that really have helped us grow over the years. Mm -hmm. ENS Gallery, the Watercolor Galleries, those type of individual galleries that really have given us great um, wind beneath our wings. And last but not least, the artists. They're our heartbeat. They make us go. They just kind of make you smile. They talk <laughs> about their stories. And as you walk around, as you walk around the Harlem Fine Art Show, you'll get a chance to meet and greet the artists, for them to develop relationships with you, and to buy their art, because yes. that's our theme, buy black art. Absolutely. And speaking of fabulous artists, you're getting a look at Jahan Brady's amazing abstract creations here. Jahan, you're exceptional. These pieces, beautiful. What is the story you're telling through your art here? So I love that you said um, power of art because I'm an artist, but I'm also an educator. My practice is combined. And not only I feel that through art, I was able to find my voice. I didn't have a voice before and I was more looking for, searching for who I am and art really pulled it out of me and I was like, this is who I am, this is what I'm about. And thinking about I'm not defined by my past, I get to choose and through education is how I paved the way and made a difference. Yeah, and you're, are you helping other people find their voice and maybe their passion as well? Absolutely, absolutely. I think it's important to think about how it is steals critical thinking. It advances those skills and really thinking outside the box and how important it is that art is truly a beautiful thing and is powerful when you actually get to understand what it is that you're doing and what creativity really can do. So much power on display and some things that really you can only see here, right Dan? Hey, this is the first time we've ever been in New York City mm -hmm. in Midtown Manhattan. Accessible to everyone. Very, very cost effective in terms of being able to come for a very mm -hmm. cheap monetary type of opportunity and then to come in and purchase some art. And the art ranges from thousands and thousands mm -hmm. to dollars. So go. there's a, a nice cross section. Okay. And more than anything else, if you're a parent, you want to bring your children. Let their eyes be opened up by the great colors and the fascination of, of what's being done by these artists. Mm -hmm. If you're a mature person, come on down and see what your past is on canvas and what your future might look with look like with some of these um, young artists that are, are really just kind of testing their teeth, yes. teeth and uh, their teeth, and more than anything else, just come and have fun. Yeah, well, I'm sold. Okay. Where, when does it start? Where can we get tickets? Well, you can buy tickets on hfas.org. That's hfas.org. And uh, really, we have a, a three-day show that's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 10 o'clock in the morning till 9 o'clock at night on um, um, today and tomorrow and on Sunday from 10 to 6. So it's a great cultural experience. Yes. It's a great way to get together with friends after the pandemic yes. and really kind of meet and greet some fascinating artists. That is exceptional. Thank you both. I appreciate it.